The remains of a Missouri soldier missing for 74 years are returning home at this hour. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live from St. Louis Lambert International Airport with a look at the escort for a fallen Army soldier who served in the Korean War. Jeff? Well, Mike, uh, the uh, plane carrying those remains, that plane has landed here at the airport, and now we are waiting for that escort to take place. There are a number of different uh, veterans organizations here, including the Patriot Guard out here to show their respects and help escort the remains of Corporal Gerald Wilson back to his home near Camdenton, Missouri, that is in southwest Missouri. Now, Corporal Gerald Wilson was fighting in the Korean War when he was missing in action. He was presumed missing in July of 1950 when he was just 19 years old. His remains were identified after decades of efforts by his family and the U.S. Army. The veterans we spoke with out here at the airport say they did not know his family but felt it was important to provide the escort. Many of the bikers will escort his remains to Rolla where another group will continue the escort. We spoke with some of those bikers just a few minutes ago. There's more to giving back to this country than, you know, something that's got to do with dollar signs. Uh, this is all, everybody does this voluntarily, and it's it's way of giving back to them for what they've all done. Just know that uh, each one of us here uh, gave up, volunteered, and to do, to serve our country and everything just like he did, and uh, that it uh, this is the only way we can stay free to do what we do. We will have more on this escort uh, on St. Louis 11 News at 7 and then on Fox 2 News after the ball game tonight. Now, the arrangements are being handled by the Ollie Holman Howe Funeral Home that is in Camdenton, Missouri, a gravesite service with full military honors set for Tuesday in Max Creek, Missouri. Again, that is in the southwest part of the state. Reporting live from St. Louis Lambert International Airport, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.